Okay, I'm gonna walk you through the uh, auctioneer app that I built as part of the Redis Hackathon. Basically, this application is a real-time bidding system using Redis Streams to handle the bidding aspect of it and Redis JSON to handle the data storage. So the actual auction items, um, all this information is stored in the database here. Like the item name, the condition, starting bid, etc. Uh, so I'll quickly I'll just show you how this works from the UI perspective. You can see the current highest bid is $300. Um, so if we enter 301, you can see that that updates. If we enter 500, you can see that that updates as well. If we try to enter 500 again, you can see that uh, it doesn't allow us to because it's not greater than the current bid. Similarly, if we enter in something lower, we should see the same thing. So the current highest bid is 500, whereas ours is 400. Um, let me walk through the architecture diagram. So this is a Node application. Um, so written in Node.js, uh, the UI is a simple React app. Basically what happens is the API handles um, basically providing data to the client, so the auction item data information. It also handles when the user submits a new bid and it will handle entering that uh, latest bid into the bid stream. Now there is logic that is written in a Lua script um, that will handle uh, bids being created atomically so we don't run into race conditions. So a couple people, uh, bidders are trying to bid on the same item, then they all submit bids at the same time. We hit a race condition, who wins, a lower bid could win. The Lua script, since those get executed atomically against Redis and Redis being single-threaded, uh, it'll stop that from happening. Uh, that Lua script also checks to make sure that the, the latest bid being entered um, is uh, greater than the last item in the event stream. So that way they were only entering in the highest bid uh, to, the, to the bid stream. The bidding service runs as a separate app. Uh, it's running on a you know, separate app, separate express app, separate port. That is subscribing to the bid stream and watching for all the highest bids. So that just runs recursively. There's like a set timeout of like 20 milliseconds um, just to provide a little bit of a buffer there. So pretty much real time. Once it gets a new, uh, sees a new bid in the event stream, it communicates over a socket real time to the UI and that gets updated. So from the UI perspective, this is basically what's um, being communicated over the socket, the latest bid. In order to determine when the bidding is finished for an item, there is a bidding timer that's running as part of the API. It's just a set timeout uh, that looks at when the item is supposed to end, uh, the, the bidding time is supposed to end. And um, once it sees that uh, the timer is up and the callback and the set timeout gets executed, it communicates that over a socket to the UI to say that the, the bidding's over, the item was won with uh, this particular bid, and then it publishes an event to the bidding finish stream. This is a separate stream, obviously, from the bid stream, but the reason that this gets published to is imagine that there's like an order service or a processing service. So similar to a bidding service, it just runs uh, as a subscriber on a loop and is constantly checking the stream. And then it might handle business logics to uh, send an email to the winning bidder that they won the item. Uh, handle like charging of their credit card that may be on file, uh, handle shipping the item out or registering shipping information, things like that. Um, but that's why these two streams are, are created independently of, of one another because they semantically contain different information essentially. That's basically the overview of the application. Uh, thanks for taking a look at it and yeah.